Hello students, I hope you all are doing good and preparing well for KCET exam. So in today's video, we'll be uh, discussing different methods that you can use to smartly guess the correct option of a given MCQ question. Okay, so why I chose to make a video on this topic is because using these methods, if you are able to guess one or two questions, even two questions correctly, okay, and you get, the, get those two marks, it is going to significantly improve your rank. So that is the reason why I chose to make a video on this. So I'll be keeping this video short, okay, I'll not take much of your time. Uh, coming to this, so when, when to guess an MCQ question, this becomes very important, okay. So you have to check, so you will be giving uh, many uh, papers, right, like you will be writing KWE mains, BITSAT, KCET, different exams are going to come. So when, uh, so you have to check whether for that exam there is negative marking there or not. So in case of KSET exam, that is Karnataka Common Entrance Test, there is no negative marking, okay. When there is no negative marking, then you can do the guesswork, okay. But where there is negative marking, as in the case of JWE mains and BITSET exam, there is negative marking. In that case, if you are not able to solve the question, just leave it, okay. Don't guess, just leave it. That is the more most wiser option, okay, to leave the question as it is, okay. So coming to the different methods that you can use to guess and give an MCQ question, the most uh, widely used method is elimination of eliminating the options so this is the widely used method okay and this is the very useful method so how you can apply this method say you have options a b c and d okay so if you are just uh, blindly guessing an option okay say you are blindly guessing your probability of getting it right is 1 by 4 that is 25 percent okay so uh, your probability of getting it correct is only 25%. So our objective should, will be how I can increase this probability. Okay. So if using some logic, some methods, I am able to eliminate say option C and option A. I know that option A and C are not correct using some logic and some, uh, some formulae and something. So I think only either B or either D is correct. So now your probability of getting it right is 2 by, uh, sorry, 1 by 2, that is 50%. So there is significant jump in the probability of you getting it right, okay. So this is one method that is eliminating the options, okay. All the other methods that I am going to tell you are based on this method. So first, whenever you want to guess a question, apply this method, eliminating the options. Coming to our second method uh, is avoid the extreme choices, okay. Uh, what does this mean? Say we have got uh, 1, uh, 2, 3 and 100 as the options, okay. So looking at the options and reading the question, uh, you can uh, you can make a guess that it is not going to be 100, okay. So it is a very extreme value, uh, so it is not 100, it is either one of the three. So again, you have increased your probability, that is 1 by 3, it is 33%. 33.33% is the probability of you getting it right. So this is a very useful method that you can use in combination with elimination of options, okay. Coming to our third method, so this is an interesting uh, thing. Say you are given all of the above, say you have A, B, C and D, D is all of the above, all of the above. In that case, if by some logic you are able to uh, find out that option A and B both are correct, in that case. The correct option would be all of the above. You don't know about option C, but you know that option A and B are correct. So you can guess the correct answer that is all of the above. And say uh, you have found out that option A is also not correct, option B is also not correct. So in that case, automatically option D will also be, will be not correct, okay, because two of the options are wrong. That means all of the above, it cannot be. So the correct answer will be option C. That is a smarter way of uh, approaching this type of questions. But if you want to go the guesswork method from the past analysis, it has been found out found that 95 percentage of the times all of the above is the correct answer. Okay, so you can blindly take this option that is all of the above. If you are not able to solve it, you, you don't know anything about it, you can just go for this option. Your chances of getting it correct are 95 percent. Okay, if and status uh, like from the data, it is found that there is only 5% chance that it is none of the above. So whenever there is none of the above, uh, you can avoid this option and you can pick the other option. 
okay so your chances of getting the uh, answer correct will go higher okay coming to the last method that is the fourth method see you have applied all the methods eliminating the option avoiding the extremes and uh, all of the above none of the above nothing is working you don't know anything okay so in that case what you can do is you can go for either b or c why so why for b or c so if you think from the examiner's point of view the person who is setting the question paper so he will not want option a to be correct okay as soon as you solve the question looking at the first option uh, you just sticking that he doesn't want that he wants to make it little bit tougher okay so he will try to keep the correct option in op correct answer in option b or c okay this is this is, if you think it from the examiner's point of view this is what we can make out okay but this uh, this way you can guess either b or c this is one method okay uh, these were the four methods that i discussed with you so one more thing i want to tell you guys is these are only smart ways of guessing an mcq question this will not guarantee you that you will guess it correctly this will only increase your probability of getting it correct so if you are blindly guessing it there is only 25% chance of getting it correct but you are smartly guessing the uh, options by eliminating and uh, doing some guesswork smartly using the methods that i told you your chances of getting it correct go high okay so that was all for uh, this video so i hope this method uh, is going to be helpful to you in your examination if this video was helpful to you please uh, like the video and uh, you can share this among your friends as well so that it is going to help them as well and uh, you can subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss uh, these kind of videos where i share tips for kcvt exam okay thank you all the best for your exam guys